Right, so I'm Gray, aka the TF2 Weapon Ideas Dude, and I'm back again with a video about Tough Breaks Changes. This one focuses on the Market Gardener. It, re it received a small firing speed penalty, and that's actually a really good opportunity to talk about the weapon, which had otherwise remained unchanged since 2011. Or maybe 2012, I don't remember. And now, it still deals crits while the weird wielder is rocket jumping, and it has no random crits. See, no random crits is an often ignored penalty. It's not nothing. It's definitely a penalty, especially on a melee weapon. Because with melee weapons, they were balanced around their increased chance to crit. So now, since the Market Gardener, among other weapons, has no random crits, it's much less useful in a straight-up melee duel because you cannot, you have no chance to win the fight in a single hit, and you are strongly encouraged to pick off weakened targets. Um, you know, random crits all over the place with melee weapons while you're using them. The Uber Saw, the Escape Plan, Half Zatoichi, Pre-Tough Break, all of those were known for critting a lot, and they were really actually quite useful in melee combat if you could rack up that crit chance. And the Market Gardener never had that opportunity, much like the Islander, most of the Dumbland Swords, those kinds of things. So, no random crits, I wanted to start off by saying that's a bigger penalty than it looks like. It's not no downside, at all. And the Market Gardener has always been a weapon based on skill ceiling, because those guaranteed crits while rocket jumping are really, really nice. But, they're also very, very hard to time and get. That's why Market Gardener montages on YouTube are regarded so highly. They're difficult to get, and they require health sacrifice a lot of the time, in form of the rocket jump or the landing. And this 20% slower firing speed change is quite useful because it makes that fair. It's like, you can't miss your Market Gardener and then beat them to death with a shovel, at least not nearly as effectively as you could otherwise. And I consider that a nice little change to raise the skill ceiling a little bit higher. Overall, still a very viable weapon, it's just not super amazing anymore. It's wanted to comment on that as well as on this. Thank you. See you next time.